All right, what is going on guys? It is Benny and today we are going to be a little bit crazy and we're going to play some mortar recruits. Now in my last video, you guys said the mortar recruits and mortar graveyard were the two videos you guys want to see the most. Also a little bit of classic mortar. So on Wednesday, I'm going to have mortar graveyard and then maybe on Friday, some classic mortar because you guys are amazing. You guys deserve whatever you want. Now, another reason why I want to show you guys this specific deck is because the cards in this deck, whoa, my firecracker just got absolutely decimated. Um, but the cards in this deck go really well in a lot of different decks and it's honestly a pretty easy deck to play. So if you're stuck in the mid ladder range or if you're just having trouble getting some wins or you're trying to learn mortar this is definitely a great deck to start with because you don't have to rely as much on your mortar damage and you have a ton of counters in this deck that go up really well against you know like weird mid ladder beatdown decks or anything that's like a mid ladder menace that somebody might play but it also does work in top ladder this was a great deck last season for top ladder so i 100 would recommend playing it and any cards that you level up in this deck are going to be really good in other decks so for you free to play players you don't have to be too worried about sinking a ton of gold or wild cards into this deck and not getting anything out of it now i'm going to take some damage here i think unfortunately but we do get the king tower activation so that will at least help us out but we did get caught off guard a little bit there i was too mesmerized by you guys um <laughs> But that's okay. We took a bit of damage, but we're about to give a ton of damage because you got to take a bit of damage to give a little bit of damage sometimes. So let's go ahead and let's play the recruits right here. And then let's just wait a second and see what he plays. When you're playing your recruits, uh, just try to remember that, you know, you want to play them at a good time, but you also want to play them as quick as you can because uh, you want to get those evil recruits cycled as soon as you can. And then as you get to double elixir, that's when you're going to start to do like the split lane pushes with this deck where you put stuff in both lanes. Um, Ooh, I wanted to mortar there so bad, but because he used the Mega Knight, I think I'm just going to hold off. He'll have to counter the Evil Wizard anyway, so I don't think he's going to be able to support the Mega Knight that much. Um, we'll play the Skeleton King here, and then I'm actually going to play a Goblin Gang right here as well. I probably should have played it a second earlier, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. The Mega Knight will go down, and then we're just going to wait to use the arrows on the Firecracker. I wanted to see if he played anything else with it. Sometimes there's really no rush in using that spell if he's not, like trying to keep it alive or anything or it's not going to be getting a ton of value so um that's okay whoa okay i played the recruits in front because i wanted to keep the mortar alive as long as i could obviously those cards will shred my recruits but i think the damage that we're going to get from that is 100 worth it then i'm going to go ahead and play the skarmy on the other side just to keep the split lane pressure up on him um he's going to go for the mega knight which i'm totally fine with because he had to use so much elixir that he can't really do much on the right side because of that and then we can go ahead and play the wizard right here the wizard should take out the prince and then it will also take out those minions and then honestly i'm just gonna play the goblin gang right here on the firecracker because why not she's not even worth my arrows man and that's gonna be a really nice win so let's give him a good game let's give him a good luck and let's go right on into the next match all right guys next matchup i'm feeling whoa whoa <laughs> what the heck was that oh my goodness that was a crazy starting hand i was just about to say that i'm feeling absolutely lethal and the fact that that just happened is crazy that just absolutely killed my vibe we're gonna pretty much lose that tower and that one skeleton dra dragon is even going to stay alive to take out the recruits. So it's going to be hard for us to punish this kid. Um, okay, how do we want to do this? I'm going to skeleton king here, but there's no way we take that tower. So, um, okay, well the skeleton king will help take out the barbs, but the, he's going to void right there. What should I do here? Okay, I'm going to goblin gang behind the skeleton king. Let's wait and see what he plays. Uh, and then I'm going to pop that ability. Okay, let's go ahead and pop it here just to, just to really get that stuff moving. Oh my goodness, that is what happens when you try to freaking starting hand me, man. Then we can go ahead and scar me on this side, I think. Um, okay, he's going to play the Skeleton Dragons, but oh my goodness, that King Tower damage is insane. No way this kid tried to starting hand us like that. And we, like, is that the quickest three crown ever? Oh my goodness. Okay, well that is Karma again. Oh my goodness, good game. All right, you guys, next matchup, let's go ahead and split the recruits in the back. First play, he's got the freaking royal hog so we're gonna have to play the skarmy here first play to take care of that but uh they should get melted pretty quick and then he's gonna have to deal with that counter push whoa okay he just used so much elixir so what we're gonna do is we're gonna goblin gang on this side um pretty good firecracker but i think we're gonna get the goblins on the tower plus the recruits this is like i feel like this video is just punishing starting hands honestly that is i feel like that's all this is is just punishing starting hands constantly i'm not going to get a king tower activation here i don't want to use that much elixir unfortunately um just because i'm worried about being punished by some hogs if i were to go for a king tower activation since i don't really have a cheap way of doing it but we have a ton of damage which is good so i'm not mad about that at all i'm going to start the skeleton king in the back on the left side here 
just to get that three card cycle going and kind of get things get things started and then we can go ahead and let's play the mortar right here on this side and then we'll wait and see what he plays in response to that um he's gonna go for the mini pekka so i am going to play my wizard right here that's actually going to be perfect because we can get all that down boom i love that and then we can go ahead and play the goblin gang right here and he used his log but he didn't actually catch the goblin gang which is good for us as well if he goes for the royal hogs we could go for a skarmy we just have to be careful of a prediction fireball but again really good damage on the tower let's just play the firecracker right here for those bats and then um we will take a bit of bat damage but that's okay then i'm gonna go ahead and mortar right here we have the firecracker going opposite lane so um whatever he uses to kite it the firecracker will help out with which is good and then we can skarmy right here on the mini pekka might as well get rid of that and then i think we'll get that tower down on the left side which is perfect i'm happy about that he is not loving it though he is not happy about that i am very sorry um okay and then how do we want to do this let's go ahead and maybe start the recruits right here in the back and then we'll kind of go from there hmm okay he's gonna play the knight there let's get a skeleton king in front we might as well and then we can just actually i'm gonna save my arrows for the firecracker that was the worst arrows i've ever used that was crazy i don't know what that was we're not gonna talk about that at all guys and then let's play a firecracker here in the pocket and then let's get a skarmy here as well but i think that's gonna be game i think we've got the win here um pretty confidently so let's just play the evil wizard in the pocket and just kind of waste his time there's the royal hogs we can go ahead and play the goblin gang right here and then we can use our arrows if we have to evil wizard is on the tower though so that's going to be good um we can just play the skeleton king right here to kind of kite everything let's get a firecracker down as well just to help out and let's give him a good game let's give him a good luck and let's go right on into the next match all right you guys next matchup this guy just said wow off the start i'm not too sure what's going on with that looks like he's running mortar as well maybe this guy knows that benny is a mortar king so let's go ahead and play the firecracker right here we're just going to get some nice damage on the mortar as well as the tower by doing that and then the skeleton king will be walking on the other side so we can kind of trust in that he's got skeleton king as well but it's level 13 i do feel kind of bad just because uh i wasn't playing at the start of the season because i was on vacation obviously and uh so i'm a little bit lower than i usually would at the start of the season here so sometimes i might go up against some guys who have under leveled cards and i honestly feel awful about that because i feel like it's very unfair but that's okay we're gonna go ahead and play the mortar here i love having wizard in this deck because it was buffed so hard uh he does have the skeleton dragons coming in and i'm a little bit worried about how we're, how we're gonna defend this well uh we're gonna have the goblin gang defend there and then that one skeleton dragon will get on the tower the other will go for the spear goblins i think i'm just gonna eat that damage honestly i don't want to over defend and then get punished by an offensive mortar but what i will do is i'm going to start the recruits in the back because we want to get that recruit evo cycle going as soon as we can and then we do also have evil wizard coming up here soon so that is good he's going to go for the defensive mortar if you are playing mortar and you're up against recruits playing a defensive mortar against regular recruits is a very good play but i would never play a defensive mortar against evil recruits or at the very least i would do it very rarely like it's not very often that i do that and the reason for that is because the mortar will start them to kind of rush forward early and it can be a little bit dangerous for you to do that and honestly the the evil like the mortar is only going to get one shot typically on the recruits and then it'll stop getting um damage on them because when they're sprinting they just sprint too fast so that's one thing to watch out for let's go ahead and play the offensive mortar here there are the skeleton dragons and he has to use minor as well so we can go ahead and we can play the evil wizard here to help defend on the mortar and that should be pretty good value and then he will have to defend the evil wizard as well in a second here uh, i think his only spell is arrows so if we can get him to use the arrows that would definitely be good and then we can kind of do a split lane push what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to play the recruits right here he does have the evil mortar there i shouldn't have played that firecracker there i don't really know what i was thinking uh and then i'm going to go ahead and play the goblin gang right here just to be safe because i do not want that evil mortar to lock onto my tower then i'm going to play a skeleton king right here just to be safe as well so that the goblin gang doesn't go down we're getting amazing damage on that one side i'm going to go ahead and play the wizard right here and what i'm trying to do is get to my recruits and i want to kind of do a split lane push uh i'm gonna have to play my skarmy here Ooh, that was a bad Skarmy. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have done that. We got the Firecracker there, though. When he pops that Skeleton King ability, I'm hoping to use my arrows. Let's go ahead and play the Goblin Gang right here, and then we'll play the arrows now. And that should all get taken out. He'll get a bit of damage there, but we should be okay. And uh, then we can go ahead and play the Mortar here, and I think that's going to be game. So let's give him a good game, and let's give him a good luck as well, because this guy is a great sport about it. And we will go on into the next one. All right, you guys, last matchup. This guy has Cannoneer, which I think is going to be a very bad matchup for him. So hopefully we can get a nice little win here. Uh, if you guys have watched to this point, let me know down below 
Hmm, what's, what, what question should we ask for today? Let me know if you're excited for the new Black Ops or if there are other games that you guys play. I'm kind of curious what else you guys play aside from Clash Royale or if you play anything aside from Clash Royale. I am looking forward to Black Ops 6. I, uh, you know, I grinded out Black Ops 2 when I was a, a little kid, so I'm hoping that there's a little bit of nostalgia with that game, but we'll see. We'll see. Let's go ahead and let's play the Skeleton King right here for the Musketeer and the Mega Knight. That's all going to get taken out. I am going to pop the Mortar on this right side just because I have so much on the right lane. Um, and then I'm going to probably go for like a Goblin Gang on the left side just to keep that pressure up. I'm not going to pop the Skeleton King ability. It wasn't really worth it just with the amount of Elixir we had. The Mortar is going to stay alive. Let's go ahead and get a Skarmy down here. Only reason why I'm doing that is just to distract the bats and the... Uh, I don't know what it's called. Whatever the dude is called from the goblin cage i actually have no clue what his name is um but just wanted to slow that down so we could get some more mortar shots and we already have amazing damage in both lanes which is kind of perfect for us with this deck he's gonna go ahead and play the pekka in the back which is a little bit scary just because we don't have the most perfect counters in hand to that pekka we can play the firecracker and then he'll have to use like a spell or something i think um to take it out or to take out the firecracker which is good because he played the poison and then honestly i was thinking of going for my evil wizard and then a skeleton king but i know that it won't take it out so um we went for the recruits and then we can play the skeleton king here i think we're gonna take the tower on the right side or at least get some really good damage there he did get the cage down in time but we did defend on the right side sorry um at the left side tower we almost took i think i said right side i'm not sure benny has dementia and he's going he's he's a little bit schizophrenic as well apparently we'll play the mortar here on the right side let's wait for the skarmy to go in, in on the left side he's gonna pop that mega knight i think we'll play the wizard instead of um the firecracker first so we'll get the wizard down here and then we can just play the Skeleton King up high here with the Wizard to take it out. We probably should have waited a second actually so that the tower would be hitting it, but that's okay. And we can play the Goblin Gang right here to counter that Musketeer. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and start the Recruits in the back, especially because he played that Goblin Cage defensively. Um, so we'll do that. We have really good damage on the right side again. And then let's play a Firecracker here. Let's just kind of wait and see what he plays in response to that. And then I'm going to go ahead and Mort... Why would he start the P.E.K.K.A. in the back? That was a little bit crazy. Let's go ahead and split the Goblin Gang right here. Mortar is not going to lock onto the tower, but it is going to splash. He just used his log, so I'm going to go ahead and play the Skarmy there. That's going to be game. He just used a Zap, so let's give him a good game, and let's give him a good luck. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one on Wednesday.